Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me by now, my name's Emma. <laughs> nice to meet you. Um, if you do, hi. Bless you, Cleo. I thought it might be a good idea to do a bit of a December highlights video. Like, just show you what's kind of going on in my plant collection and I think I might try and make this a regular thing where basically I just show you all like the really cool things that are happening and maybe talk about some of the not so cool things because it happens. There's always not so cool things that come with the good things. So, shall we get into it? Shall I start showing you the cool stuff? Um, so right now I'm in the living room. One second, Cleo's eating a Christmas tree. That's not for eating. No. Okay, I'm gonna have to move this. Sorry about that, where was I? Um, about to show you what's going on. So let's, let's look at that. First thing I want to show you is that I'm really freaking excited. I got this silver sword cutting as part of a secret Santa and it's like freaking huge. It's got like such a big leaf on it. And already has like this new leaf growing in and this new leaf growing in, which is super duper exciting. I got it with a couple other things like this Triscantia, some like string of spades, I think these are. And this one, which I keep forgetting the name of, it's some sort of succulent-ish thing. I'll put it up on the screen of what it is because I can't really remember, but yeah. I think it's doing pretty well. I've just potted this up in some soil and it's got some sand on the top just to keep it in nicely, but yeah. It's going pretty well. And then I'm also really excited about in there, my Shiveriana, my Ficus Elastica Shiveriana just popped out this new leaf, which is super exciting. My other Ficus Elasticas haven't been doing the best. Well, I mean, I got rid of one and the other one I had to trim down because of spider mites. So uh, obviously this one's doing the best, but before they didn't pop out leaves so often and especially during winter, so that's like super exciting. I mean, who doesn't want extra leaves there? Down in there, inside my cloche, there's two little leaves now on my little um, gray ghost syngonium. Let's see if I can actually get in there properly. Look at the little guys. They're doing so well. I mean, they're still really tiny, but that's much better than like just over a month ago when they literally had no leaves whatsoever. So I'm pretty proud of it growing super well. So for now, which is really good. I ended up repotting my Skindapsis officinalis again, back into soil. I did end up putting it in pond, I think about a month ago, and then it hated it. It absolutely hated it. I didn't notice much root rot, but Two of its leaves went yellow, it had three leaves, and now it has one. So it definitely wasn't the happiest. So I have put it back in soil, and I think it's doing okay. There is still a bit of yellowing on that leaf there. You can see, so hopefully it doesn't rot completely. I mean, it looks pretty healthy in there. It does seem to be what might be a growth point in there. Is that little thing a growth point? I suppose we'll see, won't we? <laughs> um, only time will tell. Maybe it, there'll be more of an update in the next highlights video. So other than that, things are growing pretty well on these shelves. Up at the top, oh, this lighting is horrendous. Let me see if I can change it. That's a little bit better, but I have the uh, Monster Dubia on my plank, but it has absolutely refused to grow onto the plank. I taped it down in quite a few spots and it just hasn't, and it has really small growth, but it's, <laughs> it's really long. I have like quite a few nodes. I think it's just searching for something to hang on to, which is kind of annoying because like I gave it a piece of wood, but I might try and chop and prop some in the new year and maybe get some cork for it to grow up because I've heard that works really well to help them to grow up rather than like some sort of smooth plank like this one. So I think I'm gonna give that a go, but for now it's just gonna be a little traily. My Monstera here, it's like aerial root is going wherever it wants. 
Um, I've just been slowly watching this root grow closer and closer and closer to the pot with pond behind there because it's got water. It's like semi-hydro. So this has just been slowly growing through there, which is quite fun. Um, I have got this one with its roots in water down at the bottom here. I think I'm going to take it out and cut those roots off because I don't think it helps in any way. I haven't experienced any new growth from it at all. So I'm just gonna ditch that little experiment and such is life. Next one is a brand new plant. I got an Alocasia stingray recently as a gift from the stem. Um, this leaf is looking really sad actually. I'm not entirely sure why it's quite yellow. This one's pretty good, but I'm confused because this is the like quote unquote new leaf. But, like you can see those brown spots in there. So I don't think it has any pests. I did check for it, but it is looking a bit sad. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that because it is new to my, to me, to my collection. So we'll keep our eyes peeled. Um, down in here, can we see that? I have a couple little bits of new growth in there. I think maybe some inflorescence and potentially a new leaf, hopefully. That would be really cool. This is the crystallinum. It's doing nice behind the grow light. My Christmas Monstera with those little baubles on it because who wants just to have a Christmas tree when you can have a Christmas Monstera? It's pretty good, isn't it? So that's pretty much it for this room and like my plant shelves. That's like this whole section here um, where I keep most of my plants. I think let's go to the bedroom. I do have some plants in there and we can have a look at those. So in here, this is kind of like my plant shelf in the bedroom. I've got the grow light up there at the top, which is feeling pretty nice. And it actually allows things to grow in this area, which is nice uh, rather than just sitting. But I've got my white princess. This was here because it had some thrips. I noticed some like on random stems a while ago, just like one here or there but none on the leaves. I've checked the leaves like five times and there haven't been any on the leaves, which is good. But this one, the leaves have gone a bit sad and I keep saying I'm gonna cut it because obviously it's too tall for the stake, but I just haven't had a chance yet. I wanna make like a proper prop box and I've just been procrastinating on it. So it'll definitely be something I do in the new year where I chop this one up. But the newest growth does have some white on it. So I'm not super worried. And I feel like I'll probably end up chopping it down to like there. So more than halfway, I think it'll like that. But my silver glory, however, has been growing like freaking crazy. Do you see how long it is? It goes this entire length. It's probably just under a meter in size. And when I got it, I swear it was like this long, maybe, maybe even shorter. It was so, so tiny but its leaves are pretty decent size. They don't get too, too small at the bottom. Like they're not the biggest, but they definitely have some size to them. They're not like completely disappearing, which is really good. Um, this was one of my newest plants. I got it in the end of October, maybe mid-October, and it is a Hoya, um, what's it called? Didn't mean to do that. I would prefer if I could get the pot out. There we go. <laughs> Oops. Uh, no, no, we're not gonna, we're just not, cause uh, it, it lives like this. Okay, cool. Well, it is some sort of Hoya and I have it written down somewhere. I love how like gray and speckled these leaves are. They're amazing. It's getting some new growth, but it is looking a bit greener probably because it's not in the brightest spot ever, but I think it's okay. It is winter, so I can't be mad. And like, look at this pot, it's absolutely insane. I'm in love with it. So it just looks so cute. Just sitting on my shelf, right up here. Um, this is sad. It's, it's super sad, like it keeps losing leaves. Like there's no pests on there. I think it's just watering issues because this one's in like a modified pot because that was the only thing that would fit inside of this 
vase because it's technically a vase like you can tell it's thirsty but it's thirsty all the time so I think maybe I'd have to water it a bit more often than I do my other plants but I mean it's trailing okay it is my like original 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 plant so I'm pretty proud of it so far and then I want to show you how my plants are trailing so I put these up kind of right when we moved in it was one of the first projects I did and I'm super proud of how they're doing. I trimmed almost all of them. So this is the satin pothos. I like pruned right there. And since then I've got two new leaves, which is super exciting. And the same is happening for my golden pothos here. Um, it's just, I trimmed there and I've been getting new leaves. Cause basically I'm trying to get them to attach to the wall. So I don't need to use as many of these clips and I can just get it to run all the way along and look super jungle tropical vibes. I think that'll look really, really nice. They are doing pretty well and I'm happy with them. I think they look really cool. They just all around give good vibes. So that's good. Um, excuse me, I'm in my pajamas. I've been sick like all week. So it's just, <laughs> this has been my outfit all week. <laughs> Whoops. And then over here is my saddest plant right now. It has been battling with spider mites like crazy, like basically on and off for, I don't know, I wanna say like at least six months. Uh, I've been noticing spider mites here and there on it, but I just noticed some more the other day, which sucks loads. So I gave it a big shower to rinse off everything as well as I sprayed it with SB Invigorator, which has, I think, worked for some of my plants with spider mites, but definitely not all of them. Um, all of them, I say that. It, like, obviously they've come back, so I don't know if, if it, it is working or not, but I think it worked on my Ficus Alaska Taniki Tanaka, however you pronounce it. But yeah, I think, I think it's doing okay. I'll have to keep a better eye on it, I think, and monitor it a bit more closely. But it doesn't actually touch anything. Like, it's not even touching the Rafidophora there. So I don't think the spider might get anywhere else, which is nice. I have, like, kind of isolated it for that reason. Because I don't want other things to get spider mites. But yeah, that's pretty much the entire bedroom. And now I think I'll take you in to the office. That's where my Ikea cabinet is, so that's where all the good stuff is. Here is the office. Things are doing pretty well in here. I've got quite a lot of plants. I think probably the one that's doing worst outside of the cabinet is this blue star fern. I have done nothing to make it happy. Um, I haven't been adding extra humidity, which I probably should, and I should probably water it more often, but I, yeah, it's a bit sad. I've been like slowly removing bits because they just like come out at a certain point but it's doing okay um and it does have some like really nice beautiful big leaves at some points um this hoya australis since i put it on a stake look it's little, got little leaves up there so freaking cute um but it's doing really well um my watermelon peperomia is doing absolutely horribly it's just like I think it's watering issues. I don't think I water it as consistently as it would like, but it is just super sad. So I might have to try and start over with it and just snip it and start from the leaves again, because hopefully that'll help. And then we come over to the Ikea cabinet, which I think is doing pretty well at the moment. Let's have a look inside. Oh my goodness. Okay, so many updates in here. Okay, so when I replanted, this in the pond into this you can see there's like tiny little roots in there going into the pond from that point so i think it's absolutely loving its new pot which is amazing because <laughs> that's why i got these pots literally specifically for this one because it needs the like sort of crawling space um what else this little anthurium back here this is a new leaf this top one this big one. Oh my goodness so one day I saw it and it was like smaller than my pinky nail. I probably didn't look at it for a couple days. And then boom, it's this size. 
and I still don't think it's like fully hardened off yet. So, oh my goodness, it's growing so well. I always forget what mix it is. I think it's some sort of Magnificum, maybe a Magnificum and Forgetti Eye, but I'll write it on the screen what it is. And my brandy is actually doing better. Oh my goodness. I think I mentioned in one of my last videos that it wasn't doing amazing, but I think it's loving being on the steak. It's just, it's just loving it. So I think I'm really happy with that. I might be getting chop and prop it at some point, but it's doing super well. Um, I'm also really excited about my Imidrium Medium Silver. So let me take it out to show you better. So obviously that original leaf isn't doing great, but oh my God, excuse my shaky hands, they're insane. But you can see it's got a whole new leaf growing on there and it's doing so well. Like, look at that. And you can see it's got like a bit of a split in it. So I'm super excited to watch that unfurl. I think it's gonna do amazingly. Uh, but <laughs> the perlite is a bit rank. It is super duper algae-y in there. I should probably change it. I mean, I should probably put this into like pollen or something, full stop. But if it's happy here right now, I don't wanna disturb it because why would I, why would I disturb it if it's happy? So I'm gonna let it at least put out that leaf and then I can sort out what to do with it. My black velvet is doing super well. For quite a long time, it was living in soil and it just had these quite like small leaves at the bottom. But ever since I put it in pond, it's getting even bigger leaves. So I think both of these two leaves are new since I put it in pond, which is amazing. Um, I'm so happy that it's feeling a bit happier now and like this leaf isn't even like fully hardened yet and it's so freaking soft, oh my goodness. So soft. But yeah, it's, it's just so happy. I think alocasias in pawn are probably my top pick for like best plants in pawn. They just do the best. They're so happy there. And I think especially if you start them from like babies, they just like absolutely go crazy for pawn. They love it so much. Maybe I should put this one in pawn. I think this is a silver dragon. It's been in soil for quite a while. I don't know, is it a silver dragon? I can, I, I don't think it's quite silver enough, but it doesn't look like a dragon scale either. I'm really not sure. Cause like, that's my dragon scale down there. And they don't look the same. They look like completely different plants. So maybe, maybe it's something else. So if, if you know what this is, let me know. If it is a silver dragon, tell me. Cause then I don't have to get another one. <laughs> cause I really want a silver dragon. But anyways, maybe I'll have to put this one in pawn. Cause I think it would benefit from it massively. But like, as you can see, this dragon scale also in pawn and it's got a brand new leaf there. This is a brand new leaf here and it's just living its best freaking life. Just being a happy camper, which is great. Oh, this leaf's going a bit funky. It's probably because it's touching the glass, but sorry. This is a new leaf on this one. My Clarinervium. It's pretty happy. Um, I absolutely have no idea what's going on with my varicosum. If you watch my philodendron video, is that a thrip? Oh my god, maybe that's the problem. Okay. Is that a thrip? I think it's a thrip. Come on, focus. Oh my goodness, it just crawled. Okay, yeah, it's a thrip. Yeah, okay. So I guess this plant has thrips and that's why it's unhappy. That would make sense. Okay, well, um... Yeah, so it lost its original baby leaf and now it's losing this one too. So I think I'm just gonna have to take this out of the cabinet and give it a good spray of Pronto because that's the best thing in the world for thrips, in my opinion. Oh yeah, there's a couple in there. There it is. See that one crawling around? Can you see that? Oh wow, there's a couple. I can see just off the top of my head. Oh my goodness, so gross. There you have it, live thrips. Sucks. Okay, well, I'm gonna go spray that immediately after this video, gross. I really, really, really hope that doesn't mean that there's more thrips in here. It probably does, let's be honest. Um, but I think this is a good opportunity because something I really wanted to try out was beneficial insects or like nematodes or something, so predatory mites or something. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna give that a try in the new year um, when I get back from the States and see if we can get this business under control because I can't be having my plants just die from thrips because it's not okay. 
I don't need that. It's, I don't need that stress in my life. So, yeah. Um, I think that is where I'm gonna end this video for now. End it on a low note, right? So yeah, if you like this video and want to see more of this kind of video from me, let me know. I really enjoyed giving you an update and I think it'd be good to give you more regular updates because then you have like a better knowledge of my collection and I can share more with you and I can like share my excitement with you and my struggles with you and all that. So yeah, there are my December highlights. Also, I just wanted to say if you didn't notice, I am wearing my own freaking merch. That's a pretty big highlight for December. I think I released it at the very, 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 very end of November. I'll put a link below in the description. So if you fancy to get some merch from me, looks like this on the front, and it's got a logo on the back. It'll be a bit smaller. This is just like an extra, extra, extra large jumper because I want it to feel cozy. But there's a couple different designs on there. And I think I've got jumpers, t-shirts, tote bags, mugs and stickers so if you want any of those things with this design or with some other designs go check out the link below in the description and if you do that within 48 hours of this video going up you can use my code youtube my code i make the codes you can use the code youtube um for 10 percent off your order so check it out if this is the kind of thing that you like get a jumper get a mug the mug is my favorite thing ever like i literally use it almost every day it's great for tea so yeah okay cool i'm done with the shameless plug now if you like this video please give it a thumbs up down below and comment on other houseplanty things you'd like me to talk about in the future and subscribe for more right i'm gonna go spray that with Toronto. <laughs> see you next time bye